<laughs> good day, good day. Welcome to Roverland. How the honk are ya? Yeah, this is Roverland, the channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. And this is your friend Dano. Yes, the curator of Roverland. And uh, yeah, so come on in. We got something exciting for you today. Um, uh, another video last week, if you're following me chronologically or whatever it is. But anyway, we had uh, did a one on Wednesday because I finally bought one of these off of eBay. I opened it up. Uh, this is my one of Wednesday one special. The one and only that I have of this right to date. I do not have another one of these. I don't even know if I will get another one of these. <laughs> um, mainly because uh, currently as I'm speaking, I have uh, been doing some traveling. And while I'm talking and yammering and everything, we're gonna take a look at this beautiful model. Um, so yeah, obvi obviously you folks know what this is. This is the new uh, 2020 Land Rover Defender 90. Get it in focus there. That's the uh, that's what it is from Matchbox. Um, yeah, just totally cool. I'm just gonna show you some of this, but anyway, um, I've been out and about lately, and um, what is this uh, mid? Uh, early mid October and all the Walmarts are depleted of pretty much everything Hot Wheels and uh, Matchbox I think um, the last Walmart they did have a uh, 24 case of, of uh, uh, Matchbox come in but there was no Land Rovers or anything in that old case that finally made it there but um, Anyway, we're going to do something uh, extremely um, dangerous, something extremely, um, yes, if you're queasy of the stomach, uh, you better just leave right now, because uh, I'm going to do something that um, goes against everything and everything that is uh, Dano, and uh I'm just going to tell you, we're going to drill this thing apart. I am excited. Now, hopefully, um, Matchbox will uh, more, pump, you know, just pump these out and flood the market with these. Instead of making a transit van or, or whatever, or London cabs or two-way electric buses and stuff like that, hopefully they put out a few of these and uh, so we can see it. Now... Uh, something that I was going to uh, mention to you. Uh, here, hold on. Uh, this is, uh, I, I, I just, I, so I popped this over and I'm like, oh, okay, I got to find a drill bit to uh, take this apart. And my first observation is, I think that's small. Maybe not. Yeah, that, that uh, mushroomed head that rivet, as they call it, but it's just the mushroom post, is really small. I They are really getting precise, I guess, but also saving, you know, valuable metal, <laughs> Zamax metal. You can see the size of these rivets here. They're just way big. Now, this is an older casting, you know. Uh, I mean, they just redid this one, and I just did a one of uh, Wednesday on this because it's a five-pack exclusive of their redesigned and redid uh, Land Rover 90. But you can see the smashed mushroom on this one. Look at the size of that. Now, look at the metal smashed mushroom on the new one. See how much more clean it is? It's not so smashed, I think. It's it's just kind of, I don't know what you would call it. I'm not an engineer. But anyway, so I, that was one of the first things. So I had to change drill bits. I had this big honking one. And so I got a smaller one. So hopefully it's going to be, uh, be a little bit more um, precise. The other thing that we have to worry about is this back one is not metal. That's not metal. That is uh, from the uh, roof and we'll see it in just a second as soon as I get done talking but that's plastic so you know what I might do that one first because I got this new drill bit and I got my big honking uh, hammer hammer drill 
Milwaukee, the heavy duty, holy cheese ball. I gotta get a different drill. This thing is a monster. The bat, wait, I gotta show you the battery. This this is an antique. Look at this battery. This thing, this thing probably weighs 20 pounds. This is old. But anyway, it still works. So let's just kindly, quietly, and <laughs> a moment of silence here. We'll try to, um, and you don't want to push too hard because uh, that drill bit will grab and just chew right into uh, your model. So you just want a gentle pressure there and uh, just kind of maybe a little bit more pressure. Excuse me, I got to clean off the thing. But you got to be careful because if you go too fast and you push too hard, that drill bit will catch and it'll, uh, yeah, just be, grind right in there. Because this is a plastic base too. We got to be careful. This isn't a metal base, so you can just ram and then it'll kind of, kind of uh, stop with the, um, oh, right there, like that, just like that. Now, see, I don't know if that's gonna work because it hollowed it out, but I still got a lip on there, and I don't know if that's gonna pop off. I might have to go with a bigger drill bit. Yeah. Well, let's try this end here. Um, that that really caught, and we went right in. The, the, the good thing is, is that is a hollow rivet, so uh, it didn't grab too much. But this one, I'm going to go at it a little bit harder, because it is metal. Don't worry, I'm not going to drill my finger, okay? So yeah, once again, ladies and gentlemen, if you're uh, squeamish, squeamish of heart and uh, stomach and all that, can't handle... Uh, seeing dissection and all that and I'm sorry for the extremely loud drill yeah I think I might want to get a bigger one I, I kind of have to be quiet for a minute because I'm really thinking here yeah but see how this is now uh, just the the top end the top end there you can see is just barely flaking on there so this the the uh, rollover of the rivets are really close to coming off I think you can see that yeah pardon me I have to blow off the yeah so see here now we have the uh, the rivet head has now uh, come off. See there, it's kind of flaked off there. So we're really close to uh, the edge of that uh, rivet head being off, I think. And you know, you don't want to pressure it too much. Like I say, this is a plastic base. So if you slip, you're gonna dig right into the uh the car real quickly so yeah pretty pretty awesome here we're gonna use uh my uh, handy dandy knife here to kind of chip away at the uh rib there you can see that that rib is coming off and we're we're kind of kind of dinging up the base a little bit you know just around there but yeah that's that's free right there so let's just try to see if we can get those uh yeah see there you go so that one's loose I don't know, I don't know if I can kind of tilt that, you see I kind of walking around, hopefully, uh, sorry again, that will pop right out, you know, because it's plastic, it's hollow, it's not, are you guys ready? I think I'm ready, we're on to nine minutes here, we, be we better do something, alright, here we go, we're going to try the back first, uh, uh. No, maybe not. Let's try the first and maybe that'll pry the back. Uh, we got the top, we got the first, the front, the front is going. Oh, hold on a second. Okay, so I changed drill bits. See, this is the normal size drill bit. Now I gotta really be careful here. So we're just gonna, oh, see, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. It'll grab and then it'll, it'll take off on you. That's exactly what I told you not to do. So if you're watching this, that's the lesson. Don't do it like that. <laughs> so hold on. Now I dropped the whole thing out of my hand. Hold on. 
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I dropped it. I put it back together, so now we're going to take it apart. This is awesome, all right? So the front still has a little lip there, so it took... Uh, so here we go. Ba-bam! All right, so there is the base. Two uh, tongers to two things to hold the axle in. Here comes the next part. Ba-bam! Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. It's got an interior. It's a left hooker. Look at that, baby. That is nice. Ten minutes into the video, we finally got to where we need to be. So that's got that lower part of the grill. Uh, it's got the uh, rear spare tire. Four seat maybe five seat with the middle one there so yeah so that is awesome and that sits right on there like that i don't know we can come down here a little bit so then this is what we're left with we're going to flip it over you can see it's got some tabs in there to hold that so this is kind of like the evoke that they had so there is all the metal piece to this that is it right there that is it wowzer so the rest of this is plastic, except for the steel axle, the rest of this is plastic. So this is the interior. There's that rivet that I was talking to you about, the plastic post. So this bugger is, is got an interior. So yeah, maybe we could customize and make a uh, convertible. I think they have planned one. And so this goes back in here like this. So yeah, so you tuck it down in there and it just sits down there and see how it holds this. It's a, the window's a little bit bigger than it, it rides around the, the outside there, so it holds it down. Wow, there you go. Yes, thanks for sticking around. Let's just pop this back in. I didn't, I didn't take enough metal off, so it kind of pops back in there. So there you go. All right, wow, I love it, awesome. Uh, if you like this, sh give me a thumbs up. We zoomed in. And uh, come over to Facebook. No, Facebook's over here. Come over to Facebook. Make sure you're, you're subscribing. But yeah, share this with your Land Rover friends. I don't know of anybody that's taken one of these apart yet on Facebook or on uh, YouTube. So there you go. Check it out. All right, this is your friend Dano saying adios. Slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.